Hello friends, welcome to a daily vlog. Today is a very comfy casual day, maybe a little bit autumnal, I don't know, sprinkling a bit of September in there for you. As you can tell from my location, I'm at Jack's house. I just got ready for my day and I am gonna wander home now. I'm starting today off super comfy, like super, super comfy. We are in the fingers crossed sweater and then I'm just wearing these leggings. They've got like a really subtle leopard print in black on them. In fact, I'll get up and show you my outfit. Very, very casual morning look does involve my fingers crossed jumper and then these leggings I bought recently that have this really subtle leopard print. You can kind of see it on here. I'll then just be putting on some trainers for my walk home. And then I have a little jewellery on because something needed to elevate about this look, let's be real. I thought it'd be nice to show you what I actually wear, like, like kind of everyday wear for jewellery. I'll just show you what I like have on today, which is some of my favourite pieces. On this hand I just have my classics. These are both my Pandora bracelets with my Pandora charms. As you can see, the Eiffel Tower has joined the Queen Bee. And then on this side I just have another one of my Pandora bracelets. Again, with just two charms. I really like these um, flat chain bracelets. I don't know quite what their name is, but they're so lovely. I think they're really good for layering and stacking as well, which I like to do, but on a slightly more minimal way. Um, during like my just everyday wear. Rings are my big thing. I'm very into rings. I really like being able to stack, but I haven't stacked today just because I wanted to wear more on more fingers. And then this is on my other hand. I think this is all rose gold. I love these ones. They're so beautiful and so thin. I love a delicate piece, you know me. And then on my neck, I just have my absolute everyday necklace. I wear this every single day. It's just a little sun pendant on just a gold chain. And in my ears, I have hoops. I nearly always wear small hoops. These ones are rose gold, so it ties in the gold and the rose gold. So I'm now gonna wander home. Today's agenda is editing a video. And then the thing that might not happen is if I have time after editing, I would really like to bake a very particular cake. It's an apple loaf with um, cinnamon cream cheese frosting. I saw it on, I think she's called Love and Jelly Beans, who's um, a gluten-free cook. And it just looks so tasty and so autumnal. So I might try and bake that. I'm also on my period, if that wasn't evident, because all I can think about is like donuts, croissants, pain au chocolat, cake. And then after that, I'm going to see lovely Lanny and we're going to a pub. We're going to a pub garden. I'm gonna sit outside while it's still a bit warm and have a couple of drinks. Hello from the palace. That's what we call our house. Aviva and I are having lunch. It is lunchtime. I'm gonna meet you in a sec because Aviva's gonna blend a smoothie. Aviva, how would you rate your work day on a scale from one to 10 today? Uh, seven? Yeah, seven, yeah, seven's decent. I'm on a strong six, but it will perk up towards the end of the day. Right, okay, good. get on blending. I'm gonna make my toast. Look at this, Aviva matches her smoothie and this is our. Mm -hmm. Also match my adapter. It's a triple match. Toast is the best smell in the world, and if you disagree, I will fight you. I always mash in the avo. I don't know if that's the way, but that's how we do it around these parts. Avo toast, I just literally put salt and pepper on, maybe a little bit of smoked paprika. I think I'll feel better in a bit, but right now, self-care is looking like a piece of avo toast and a baby bell, and maybe a little bit of hot sauce. Maybe not. <laughs> find the hot sauce. This is my very non-aesthetic plate of avo on toast. I'm gonna eat that and do some work. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You have a real strange version of me here today. So I'm about to start this edit. I have got my forest app on, which basically you can't see because of the sun, but I plant a tree and then I can't touch my phone for those 25 minutes. It's the Pomodoro method, uh, but in a nice tree format that you can't escape. So I'm doing that. I have my cup of tea and yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna edit this bit up. work. Woo! Ooh. So I finished work. I've just got ready for my evening where I'm seeing Lan tonight. I think I mentioned that earlier but my camera cut out so who knows if that's in there. But yeah, so I'm all ready. I'm ready to go. But yeah, as I was shooting here earlier, a thought occurred to me and I wanted to share it with you. I have quite a bit of imposter syndrome relative to other women in my industry, in my career. So that's fun. I feel like I'm in a really weird space on the internet because 
there are people who are in what I would call in my generation of YouTube who are a little bit older maybe and, and they've got their lives together you know they've got a partner they're living in their own flat or their own house um, some of them even have children but they're very sorted they've released books they've done other stuff but mainly they're in their own flat and they're doing really well and they've got a very lovely looking life and then there's people who are on the just post-grad end of the spectrum um, some wonderful youtubers especially like university vloggers who are just graduating and moving to london and they're in like proper like post-grad houses they live with loads of housemates and i feel like for some reason i feel somewhere in the middle of these two like i live with one person aviva i've lived with people in flats for eight years now and I aspire to live either on my own or with my boyfriend, but it's not the right time yet. So sometimes I feel quite insecure about the fact that I have a house that I love, but it's not picture perfect by any means. It's still so much of a work in progress and we love our flat, but it's not permanent. It doesn't feel like, like it feels like home. It's the closest place in London I've felt to home. Like I'm not going around painting any walls, do you know what I mean? And I'm not buying any furniture. Like, you know, we've got this lovely broken foot on which we have put a grey throw on and chuck some pillows on. And I bought this nice throw and I bought the bookshelf, but like it's all just kind of, kind of coming together if you get what I mean. Whereas I feel like all the influencers I watch and that also make content in a similar vein to mine just have their together have their stuff together because this is a sponsored video after all and i'm just kind of in that middle ground and i'm actually really comfortable here and i just need to embrace it more so those were my my earlier today thoughts about imposter syndrome and vlogging anyway let me show you what i'm wearing now i'm about to go out because i have slightly changed up my outfit so on my top half i have this roll note jumper it's wool it's so cozy it's a little bit chilly outside and i think we're sitting outside today so i didn't want to get cold so i've got a little vest under this but I'm gonna be wearing this. I should pull the sleeves down. This all night. And then I've tucked it into this little skirt I'm just wearing. You can kind of see here, but just this little short gray denim skirt. I'm still wearing my hoops as before. I've added a wishbone ring to my thumb. So I've still got all my jewels on. And then I've added a bracelet here as well. I've added a little silver bracelet just to add a bit more silver into the, into the look. And it's got my amethyst birthstone uh, charm on it. And also my L for Lucy because those are my faves. I really like an amethyst themed anything to be honest. I'm such a Pisces as I said before, February baby. And so I feel very connected to the amethyst birthstone. And then around my neck, I have a slightly larger necklace. I love a feature necklace and this one's no exception. This is a Pandora O charm. And I just love the way it sits. I think it looks so minimal and so chic against like a big canvas, AKA my huge jumper. You can put charms on it if you want to for me personally. I'm, I'm feeling the simple vibe. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing out tonight. Just a chill evening, shouldn't be anything too fancy. Thank you Pandora for sponsoring this video, by the way. I realized I forgot to mention it this morning, but this video is kindly sponsored by Pandora. They wanted me to show my everyday favorites and this has been the easiest video ever <laughs> because I could show you exactly what I wear and what I love. I might also add a little bit of vlog tomorrow just because today I genuinely just worked all day. Right, off we pop to lands. loves <laughs> it is saturday it was so nice last night to see lan and molly it just it just feels like soul food do you know what i mean and we had a really lovely catch up oh yeah molly arrived as well i just realized like lan and molly are housemates let's explain that and then <laughs> molly's writing a dissertation at the moment so she is quite stressed but she was like i just need to socialize with some people so she came along too and then i ended up going back to jacks and hanging out with him and his housemates it's now 11 o'clock i've actually been awake since like Eight. Once we're in a routine of waking up at a certain time, it's so hard to sleep in. So we were up and doing stuff. Jack's gone to watch um, his friends play some football. I've literally just sat in bed and been on my phone for a bit. And now I'm gonna wander home, basically. Right, here's my plan. I was kind of like, mm, I feel like this is just a single day. Let's extend it. And then I thought, I can make the apple cake that I really wanted to make yesterday 
today. So now I'm on one about the apple cake. We're gonna make the apple cake. I'm wearing a nice little just white tee with my jeans today. I changed into jeans last night just to make sure I was warm because the temperature dropped quite a bit in the evening. So I'm gonna walk home and on the walk home I'm gonna pop into the shop and get the ingredients I need for the apple loaf. And then I'm going to meet Ellen at the pub. I really don't fancy drinking today. So I think I'm just gonna have some like teas and coffees. Yeah, I just wanna make sure I get a good night's sleep tonight because whenever I drink I don't get a great night's sleep. I'm so excited for this apple loaf. I've really built it up in my head. <laughs> I was really wondering if I should vlog while I was here because I was like, oh, it looks like I just like didn't plan anything and I just land like ended up somewhere I shouldn't be. I don't know why, like I'm at my boyfriend's house. This is just not controversial. I think again on that imposter syndrome thing, I had this idea that in people's vlogs, like their whole lives look so magical and perfect. But yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. And sometimes I end up at Jack's uh, when we haven't planned to, just because it's nice and I'm spontaneous. Oh, so spontaneous. I need to feel less weird about the idea that my plans can change within a vlog and that's totally normal. Oh, I feel like I'm bedding down loads. Hello friends. I've put the applesauce on and it's taking longer than I expected. So, new plan. I'm gonna go meet Ellen and have a drink with her and then I will be back and I'll cook the cake once I am home. <laughs> it just feels so silly. I feel like I'm putting everything off, but this applesauce is taking forever. So, you know, we live and learn. I'm just gonna do my hair, pop a little makeup on, and I'll go down and meet her. I wanna show you my outfit today because we can do a second outfit now because we're on the second day. I've gotta apologize for the state of my room because it is not cute. I feel like you're getting a real look at what my life actually looks like in this vlog. <laughs> you're getting warts and all, like, all the disorganization. For some reason people think I'm mad organized, that is not the case. This is the fit for today. So, on my bottom half we have some trainers and then just some black jeans. I just want to keep it super simple. And then I'm just wearing this little white t-shirt here. I love a white tee. White tees go with everything, they are so good. And then I have my new cardigan. This is like the perfect coffee color. I feel like it just makes everything look so much more like autumnal and just lovely. I really wanted to bring some green into my wardrobe again um, and some khaki as well. And this was just the perfect olive color bag. And it's actually so um, spacious. You can put so much in there. And then for my jewelry, we have the hoops back on again. These hoops are such staples for me. I wear them so often. And then on my neck, we're back to the sun necklace, the sun pendant on just the gold chain. And on my fingers, I've got the same rings, but on my wrist, I'm just wearing one bracelet today. I just want my gold one to tie in some silvers and some golds, but I've added my bee charm. I have a flat bee charm and I have um, a pendant bee charm. And so I like alternate them because I'm the queen bee. As per, all the jewelry is Pandora. It's so easy to mix and match with. It just makes it so easy to get ready when you're running out the door, which is what I'm doing right now. Look who I'm with. It's young Ellen. <laughs> So young. <laughs> so young. There's lots of dogs, as you might be able to hear, and we're having a nice time. I'm gonna shut the window so my neighbors don't judge me. So I had a lovely drink with Ellen, and it's now 7.30. I made my dinner, it was just a stir fry, I've just finished it, and now I'm ready. We are here to bake a cake. Luckily, because Aviva's a genius, she has this cup, which um, has half cup measurements because I'm following an American recipe and this could turn out like anything. Mix together the applesauce, butter, vanilla, maple syrup and almond milk, a baking powder, cinnamon and baking soda. So logically I need all of this applesauce. I'm gonna go with this much. You know what, best thing about living with Aviva is we really do have everything in this house. There is not a seasoning we do not have. That is so much maple syrup. We're gonna do some guesstimation. No we're not. One time I put um, a lot of baking powder in a thing um, that I made at school. And it came out tasting like soap, and I have never forgotten that. Not to be that guy, but I might have messed this up slightly. Okay, I mean, this is looking like the right consistency, so at least that's reassuring. This is a dense loaf. I'm so impressed at people that bake for fun. <laughs> I always thought I enjoyed baking and doing this today, I don't even realize I don't know if I do. This is my, my loaf. I'm gonna pop it in the oven, and I'll get back to you tomorrow morning as to what it's turned out like because I'm literally gonna pop it in and then when I remove it, it will need to be cooled. So just pray for me. Here goes nothing. So it's in the oven. I've done my washing up and now I'm going to go to bed because I'm knackered. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Pandora for sponsoring this video. You can check out every jewelry piece that I wore out of my essentials collection in the description. I'm gonna have a proper chilled out evening. I am so ready. <laughs> right. Let's go, gang. Woo.